good day. And welcome to episode 58 of the Aaron Wayne Podcast. My goodness, I'm going to tell you here now, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to go to sleep. But you know me. I watch inspirational shit on YouTube. Alex Ramosi says the easiest way to stay poor is to just wait till tomorrow. It resonated. That guy is so cheesy, but it worked. I'm here doing this dang on podcast. I feel like that audio sh- song should sh- like kind of slide its way out a little bit more. Speaking of sliding, I uh, put everything on that mic stand. This isn't interesting. I already fell. It already fell off. I think audience retention after the first two minutes really <laughs> hits a cliff there on the old YouTube. Um, speaking of YouTube, subscribe. Um, hit it with a like. Make a comment. The only comments I get are either from my brother-in-law, which I appreciate it, brother. Uh, or my little brother. Appreciate it, brother. And then random Russian bots. So YouTube's not doing great. Podcasts. I, I don't know how people are still listening to this because I'm not publishing these damn things. I haven't made a podcast. Uh, in fact, I know the last time I made a podcast was like two. It was like a month after my daughter was born. And in a couple of weeks, she's going to be four months old. And then I listened to, yeah, I listened to my own podcast. Get off my back. I don't listen to it daily, but I'll refresh myself on it when I got to do another podcast so I don't repeat the same stuff because I'm a professional who doesn't publish podcasts frequently enough to make it actually worth anybody's while. But uh, what was I talking about? I don't even know, dude. The thing about being a parent is you, the sleep is all weird. There's no consistency to the sleep. It's um, my wife honestly is taking the brunt of all of that because um, I'm at work and I'm also just kind of a bum. Listening to my last podcast, it was uh, titled uh, Fatherhood and Low Expectations. I'm definitely fulfilling those low expectations of trying to sleep through the night. But if, you know, I mean, I can't, it's... I don't know. I'm not going to hash out this whole discussion. She's very gracious, very strong, capable uh, woman that um, I should probably help out more with the the night shift stuff. Um, But uh, I had things I was going to talk about. Uh, Do you know what they were? Mm, I don't. I I walked upstairs. I set all this stuff up, went upstairs because I'm in my dungeon and I was like, you know what, I'll just do this tomorrow. I set everything up. It'll be that much easier to just fire it off tomorrow. And then YouTube inspirational videos came into my mind, came into my brain and said, Rico, just go down there and do it. It might be worthwhile, but at least you're putting in some reps and getting started back at it. I really do value doing this damn thing. And um, this has been really hard. <laughs> it's so hard to do a podcast. Um, no, but it's, uh, what I've realized is that, you know, in the evenings, I'm a big fan of hot baths. Make fun of me if you choose, but I like a scolding hot bath. Call it 115, 118 degrees on our little rubber ducky we got for the babe. Um, really enjoy a hot bath and I'll hit the hot bath. And then, you know, that's an hour of my time where I could be doing something productive. So I decided to stop doing that this week. I think um, there was a phase of parenting where it was like completely chaotic and there was no schedule. It was just like do what is, it's like a very moment to moment existence. And then there was a phase of, okay, we have our feet underneath us. Now we have the schedule of what the, you know, how we do this, how we do that. And then everything falls apart temporarily and you got to rebuild it and then it falls apart and you got to rebuild it. And now I'm at a point, and you just sort of like sneak away uh, in moments to get things done, um, whether it's like just getting the laundry done or, you know, trying to work on projects that you care about. Um, But it's hard to care about projects in the face of, you know, all of the things to do. But, uh, I mean, if this feels rambling, feel free to skip this one. The next one's going to be better, I promise you. I just got to get rolling get back in the swing of it Uh, but if you're here with me you know you're a trooper and I love you for it
this microphone sounds good. I got this new microphone um, and a Zoom recorder, so I don't have to like run everything through GarageBand. I still got to like polish everything up, but this was a proper investment. It sounds really good. It only cost me $7,000. Not really. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody who has 35 YouTube subscribers spends seven grand on a Zoom recorder? Uh, there are definitely people that do that. And those people um, uh, are stupid. Don't do that. Mm. I didn't mean to judge you, stupid people. But um, I'm trying to get strong again. I had this like real, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, this is a reoccurring theme. Uh, Rico realizes he's a skinny yogi and wants to get big and strong and watches YouTube Instagram uh, and Instagram inspirational videos and thinks that he can be Jocko Willink or um, anybody else, Nick Bear. If you know who Nick Bear is, you know that I'm a goofball for watching him. And if you don't know who he is, don't YouTube him because you're just going to make fun of me for watching this very handsome, muscular man do exercises and eat protein shakes. I told you why it's embarrassing. I shouldn't have said, damn it. I shouldn't have said why I'm embarrassed by it. It actually seems like a really decent guy. And if you're listening, Nick, which I know you are, um, you know, welcome on the pod anytime. Come down to the dungeon. Come down to the old dungeon. I've actually been trying to think about what it looks like to, to build out this space. And then I realized financially it's probably not the right choice. I think, okay, GoPro. This is another investment I made. Um, because I want to, this actually ties into what I was about to talk about, which is I'm in the process of building a, uh, some online modules because, you know, I really enjoy teaching yoga and I enjoy hearing from people on how much they, you know, they get from practicing yoga. And the way that I teach is I've been told, which is actually what I strive for. So I'm not embarrassed to, it doesn't feel like gloating to me because you know people are confirming what it is I'm working towards which is I want to give the tools of yoga in an authentic way but I don't want to make it inaccessible by being too woo woo because I don't think you necessarily need to go there and that's also not how I interpret all of it I think about about it um slightly differently the philosophies and um though I see the value in all of them I understand a lot of the language of yoga is just that it's it's different language modalities in order to articulate the experience of being human and people enjoy the way that I attempt to do that so I'm told I'm sure there are a handful of people who just said this guy sucks I don't want to come to his class anymore and they never come back um but you know those people they're not my kind of people no <laughs> they just I wasn't the right person um, yoga is like music, you know, uh, and yoga teachers are like artists just because you like Kendrick doesn't mean you're going to like J Cole. Um, so I'm in the process of building out some online stuff because with the baby, I have less time to go, you know, if, when you're a yoga teacher, that class is an hour long, you know, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how long you've been teaching of like thinking and centering yourself and preparing what it is you're going to be teaching. And then, um, you know, travel time there, travel time back. Uh, I always try to talk to people after class because people value that, you know, and I'm in a different headspace after an hour of yoga and so are they. And so, you know, that hour is really at least two hours. And so in the evenings when you work all day, you get home at four, baby's in bed, it's 9.30 p.m. right now. You know, she's been in bed the last hour. She's been stirring a couple times and but she's sleeping pretty well uh, as of late. I got the baby monitor right here, which is kind of fun. Um, you, you lose all your time. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to continue to teach yoga, but do it in sort of a batch format way where I just like teach a whole bunch of yoga on a Saturday uh, via like workshops and online uh, recordings and then just push all that out through my website. So that's where this GoPro, this stupid friggin' GoPro, if anybody knows how to make a GoPro stop beeping, please DM me or put it in the comments uh, on YouTube. Um, and if you're a Russian bot and you know how to make it happen, you can still you can comment on the YouTube thing too. Um, if you're a Russian or Chinese bot, it doesn't bother me. Or if you know 
the if those if those governments have just outsourced it to Argentina or Guatemala or Thailand, whatever, like wherever you are, bot, um, just tell me how to make this damn thing stop beeping because I hate it. Um, not because I'm trying to go like Project Veritas and hide it in my jacket or something. I just it's annoying. It's that beep beep beep. Um, and so building out the space, I've been thinking. You know, I have the space in this basement. It's a full size basement. It's unfinished. The can you tell <laughs> from the YouTube? Um, but I think I'm actually just gonna like rent some space. It'll be that much easier. I just like bring my stuff in, and it also consolidates the time. One of the things that I've learned from trying to get projects done is that a clear time constraint actually makes the project easier and faster and more efficient. When you have like a project that is just like a thing that you're doing that you may care a whole bunch about, if you don't put it within some sort of parameter, then you're going to just dwindle the time away. And um, I think it's Bohr's Law, um, which I heard it's that's um, a science. It's this, you know, it's a science thing. I understand science. If you haven't noticed from previous episodes, I understand science, and uh, I do. I talk about science stuff. This this is a science podcast, science based, science informed, science based podcast. Um, but Bohr's law is, I think it's Bohr's law. Google it and tell me. Uh, it is a gas will expand to fit its container, and I heard Tim Ferriss talk about this. I think in the four hour work week back when I was in college, which was it, does, it was a long time ago. I was, I graduated college. I was supposed to graduate college in 2011, um, but I changed majors. So 2012 for Rico and I read four hour work week and I said the, the time permitted for a task, the work will expand to fit that time, something like that. And so having clear constraints, if I'm doing this workshop, it's like, all right, man, you got, you got Saturday, you rented this space, you're paying for it. It's going to be 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you got to film everything, which means I got to show up and, and have the plan. I got to have, you know, scouted it out, looked at the video angles and all this because I want to make it high quality. One of the things that I see in the yoga space that people are doing, it's either you're paying for a premium, which, you know, through my business is a form of education and continuing to learn how different teachers around the world are teaching. Like I pay for some of these services. Um, and they're expensive um, for the average person. They're not as expensive as a yoga studio subscription, but it's either you're getting something that's sort of um, cheap, cheaply made on YouTube, which you know I have no room to. If you, the the lighting is all wrong in the podcast right now, everything is jacked up. Just it's fine. I just gotta get this thing out. <coughs> And I don't have a cough button either. But you're either getting something that's like a single camera camera angle and the audio is coming from the the camera uh, instead of mic'd up. Or you're paying a premium price for a premium product. But I don't think that you need to charge a premium price for that premium product. I just think you need somebody who knows what they're doing when it comes to video editing and lighting and framing. Which this video is not evident of my expertise but I know how to do it. So, um, now I have everything set up. Now I have the capacity and willingness to just do it at night. So I'm going to be continuing, uh, to roll these out, but I just need, I just needed to get one. I just needed to get one under my belt. And, uh, I've been thinking a lot. I've been writing a lot. Um, if you're interested, you can check out the blog or AaronWayneYoga.com slash blog and see what I've been thinking about lately. Um, but this is just like, it's just another layer of rebuilding um, and retaining of what is of value to me. Because becoming a parent has really taught me that I just need to shed all the, the bullshit of my time. Like the things that I th- I'm doing that aren't worth my time. Um, I don't have the luxury to waste them any longer because the time that I have, I want to spend with my family. But then at the same time, I still have like the, a drive in myself to do things and to build things. 
And so balancing those two has really forced me to be very deliberate on what it is that I've kept from the life I had before being a father. Um, and this is one of those things, like I'm finally at a stage where I feel like I can consistently continue this going. Um, everything's built and you know, this podcast is just a restart for me. And I think that if I, (laughs) I think I might've said that like the last three podcasts, but, um, I had a couple false starts, man, honestly, like going into uh, the, I listened to the last two before recording this evening and the, uh, two episodes ago was in July and, you know, I had a good momentum going for a while and then fell off because, you know, school started back up, had to prep for the baby, all these things. And, you know, I was trying to make sure that Katie was supported, uh, in the final months of her pregnancy. And then, you know, the baby came and I I squeezed one out, squoze one out, squeezed one out, something like that. I got one out, um, the month after to kind of like verbalize my thoughts on the delivery process and like my reflections. But then after that, it was just like, all right, now I got one. It's just, I, I got to land and get some stuff done. I got to make sure, you know, the basics are taken care of before I can get into something long term, which this podcast is a long term thing. I think I'm going to be doing this um, indefinitely. And now that I have it set up and now that I have that system rebuilt, um, it has a bit more resiliency to it now that I can be clear on how to go about doing it. It's just time. That's all it is, um, and I, of which is limited in my life right now. So it's a it's a late night thing, you know. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about waking anybody up, dogs barking, anything like that. So everybody's asleep. I'm out here podcasting with you, and with that, I'm gonna see you guys real soon. I don't think I'm gonna wait a week. I gotta bury this podcast underneath another one so that my most recent one i can actually say hey do you want to check out my podcast is aaron wing podcast so i gotta bury this one so see you on the next one aaron wing yoga i'm gonna try and get more active on the social not consuming but producing something that is of value sounds cheesy whatever peace out guys